Hey, I'm Bernadette. I'm Hannah. So this is our in additions and empties video. So first we're going to do our additions. So Hannah, in December, ordered me Christmas presents and herself something from ColourPop. She ordered me for Christmas and then it arrived in January. So that here this is a brow pencil that I added to my spreadsheet, a new eyeliner, this lippy stick that is the a lip primer. So it was on my know by year that I could buy one of these. So now I, let's see, I maybe I won't buy one at all because Hannah got me one. Thank you. You're welcome. I got the Kathleen Light C palette and so I had to re-measure my project pan thing because I didn't think when I filled it and grabbed from the other Z palette. Whoops. And then I got two freckle pens because I really liked the freckle pens and I'd be really sad if they ran out. Do you want to show them inside now how many you're working on for Project Pear? Too many. Yeah, I think that's too many too. But I got a deep divot in that one. <laughs> yeah. It's our end of January empties video. Hi. Hi. Hannah has a lot of homework so we're gonna like do this as fast as possible here. So I'll go first. I finished all of the David's Tea Advent Calendar teas. And out of all 24 teas, there's only one tea that I would actually purchase. I have to remember which one it is here. The Blood Orange Boost. is Out of 24 teas, that's the only one that I would actually buy. All the other ones were pretty crappy. <laughs> I didn't finish mine yet. There is a whole lot of caffeine and matcha and not a big enough mug. So I just vibrate through existence and then I feel really sick and tired. Finished <laughs> this mouthwash. It's not mouthwash. That is mouthwash. It's a fluoride treatment. It's a fluoride treatment, but it's a mouthwash. What's the difference? A mouthwash is to just freshen up your mouth. This is a clinical strength. Okay, clinical thing. strength fluoride thingy. Because I hate mint. This is a good one. Would recommend. Already bought it again before the no by you. Sadly, I finished these two. My Tetley infusions that I love. This is the best one. We did an experiment. This is the second best one. Yeah. To see if we could just do it with any old tea bag. The answer is yes. Yes, but I still would buy this one. If I saw this one, I would still buy this one. The mint lemon cucumber is the best. I would repurchase it if it wasn't my no by year. I used up my Olaplex number three repairs and um, like hair perfecter. So now I get to live with fried hair. Do you like it? I love it. I'd buy it again. It was really good. Like if you if you've done goofed, it makes your hair feel like less done goofed. <laughs> <laughs> I used up the spare mineral skin longevity. It was a nice moisturizer, but I don't think that it's something I need in my life. Uh, skin longevity vital power gel sleeping cream with hyaluronic acid. This is the Estee Lauder Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I actually super love it. The Nivea Eye Makeup Remover is just as good and way cheaper, so I'm not going to buy this anymore. And I think that Nivea is actually on my cellar water. Well, it takes makeup off. Okay, this Rusk Freezing Spray. I bought this in 2017 shouting. and I finally used it up. I'm shouting because I'm excited. I'm super excited that I used this up finally. I have a love-hate relationship with this hairspray. I love it because it does exactly what it says. Freezing spray, humidity resistant hairspray with extreme hold. It is exactly that. You do ha not need that here. Yes, I Humidity? Do. Yeah, true, but in Seattle and Florida <laughs> I did. Yes, it does the things. Even in Florida it did the things. However, there are two reasons why I would not repurchase this. One, it smells like coconut. And I flippin' hate the smell, taste, and texture of coconut. It's gross smelling to me. To someone who loves coconut, this would be wonderful. But for me, it's like, ugh. It's just the grossest smell in the world. Also, you have to rinse this off and spray it in the sink every single time before you use it. If you don't use it, it sprays everywhere. That's a waste. And yeah, it totally is stupid. It is the worst sprayer ever. And when it does spray, it sprays very, very thick. It gets all over your counter. It is so gross to clean up. I am just thankful that it's gone 
I will miss the effect, but I will not miss the smell or dealing with its nonsense. Armani Master Corrector. Yes, I would repurchase this. I love this. It's a fabulous corrector, but once I'm out of my Estee Lauder, I'm going to try the NYX instead, just because it's a more value price, similar product. So this is my under eye corrector. Yes, I love it. Yes, I would repurchase it, and I probably will someday, but not during my no-buy year. I used up this Lisa Waiter <laughs> What? Another one. I won't buy this. You burn through this. And it's ex like the, the non-sample is expensive. If you're not careful, it makes stuff pill. Like you really have to wait for the stuff to dry down. So that's frustrating. So I wouldn't buy this again just because it's expensive. Like I haven't even purchased it. This work. These were free samples. <laughs> Lancome de Finicils mascara. It's it's not something I would go out and purchase, but I do when it comes in a set or a sample. I do enjoy it. I would not purchase it, but I wouldn't mind getting it for free again. I think they're all mine. Yeah, they're all yours. This pissed me off. I was so excited about it. The YSL the Shock mascara. I didn't even get to use it because watch. Yeah, it's the fucking broken. The brush is stuck inside the thing. I was so excited to try that sample because I heard such great things about it. Can I see it. But the brush is stuck in there. I tried all the things. You tried breaking the seal? No. Don't get mascara all over the couch. You keep going. I'm gonna play with this. I used up this Lancome Absolute uh, Precious Oil. No, I would not purchase this. I don't think putting something that heavily scented on my face is a good idea. I used up this Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Yes, I would purchase this. 100% yes, it did great things for my sample? skin. Yeah, it was a, I think I got it as a Sephora freebie a while ago. Nice. Yeah, and so yes, I would purchase the full size of this Midnight Recovery Concentrate. When I was using it, I noticed a, a big decrease in my acne. My skin felt amazing in the morning. I would definitely buy that even if it is expensive. And I used up this Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Balm de Shampoo Mask. No, I would not purchase this. It's not a necessary product in my life. I don't know people who use or need hair masks, um, what they would, if they would like it or not. It was just kind of gross to me, like to put this gross stuff and let it set on your hair while you're doing stuff and then go have a shower. It just was kind of gross. I used a Too Faced. You used up a toothpaste? I used up a toothpaste. Good job. Sensodyne is something that we need in our life, but I don't know if we need this pro email, pro enamel, pro enamel one. I think we could deal with just the regular one. And also, these things, these tubes don't biodegrade, I don't think. No, nope, they're aluminum lines. They just sit in the landfills. I think I'm gonna try to convert to like some toothy tabs, but we still need sensitivity protection, so I'll be looking for some toothy tabs that protect sensitive teeth. But I've been using another toothpaste in intermittently with this, and my sensitivity is not that bad without this. So I will probably repurchase Sensodyne, but we're gonna I'm gonna use a whole lot less of it in the future. Oh, and lastly, I finished this Escada perfume sample, and I wouldn't purchase it. It was nice to have. It's a very kind of soft, citrusy, floral. I'm wearing it right now. I'm smell. Mm -hmm. Smell me. Yeah. Floral perfume, but it's not something I would run out and purchase. It was nice to get for free. So that's our empties. Yay! Bye. Bye. Peace. How dare you not already be subscribed to this channel? Because I am Zuko the most dramatic subscription noodle. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I have no self-esteem.